animal cruelty. Wrongfully accused. Conspiracy and murder. This, all of this will be shown on today's episode of Crime Watch, the Vanix Craft Edition. So today, we are looking at three of the most vile, terrible, awful humans, well, human, and two terrible creatures on today's Crime Watch. The first one, as you can, as you will see in these screenshots, I have been wrongfully accused by a jackass penguin as he accused me of doing something that we all know that he did. So as you will see in the attached screenshot, that poor Dry Palms had a beautiful horse that he called Lion, named Nala, that you saw in our last video when we went to see his house. And it was murdered. Murdered. And you want to know where the thing was, or the saddle was found? Dark space. That's right. The jackass penguin killed the horse. And I was blamed for it. He said that he found it. Or he saw it on his way to Dry Palm's base. At my base. Yet when I left Dry Palm's base, as you saw, I didn't bring the horse here. And as we all know, I would not travel that far with a horse over those treacherous mountains through a jungle and yes he is a vile vile creature and he is as his name states a jackass and if you've ever actually talked to him you'd realize he is a jackass but he's not even the biggest offender the second offender that we are talking about is animal cruelty animal cruelty and as I will show in this clip you will see why it is cruel for what he did pigs in there too oh look at that this guy don't have no signs oh hell no come here hmm you see this this dude has chickens in there and there's lava <laughs> <laughs> Chickens and lava. What the fling? Oh, good God. All right, we're going to have to have a talk. However, and yes, that was terrible. Those poor chickens. Chickens are such amazing creatures, and he has them trapped. Bubble Wolf Gaming is a vile wolf, but he is not the worst. The last one is conspiracy and murder. Now, if you watched the first episode, you would see that I was having flashbacks of being murdered by falling through a snow globe in my hardcore series. And I forgave him. I forgave Brian for that. But you want to know what happened? It happened again. But this time, he didn't just leave a gap. No, 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 no. He pushed me. He pushed me off. A, gi a giant scaffold near his AFK farming, level farming base thingy majig that he made. And, oh, and yes, I made a giant desk in only one chair because that is how we do it at Crime Watch. Phoenix Craft style. Brian is a vile human being, and here is the footage.
Um, this is really claustrophobic, right? Mm -hmm. You just closed me out. That's pretty good. Alright, I'll just stay out here. Oh my god! Jump from the scaffolding. <laughs> and he tells me to grab scaffolding? Grab the scaffolding! As he pushes me off. Yet, yeah, he complained when I pushed him down a, f some, a few steps in his mine shaft in the hardcore series. I forgave him once, but I feel like there's a conspiracy against me to kill me. However, this episode is not going to be all bad, because there is one saving grace that I have found in this place, and it is the poor man who died, or not died, had his horse killed. Dry bombs. As you can see, I am in diamond. I have diamond chest armor and diamond and glowy boots. Yes, I have gold pants because we went into the nether because he may have died and I had to help him. But I have glowy boots and that's because of him. I also have, as you see in the background, a house. Yes, I have a diorite house now. And yes, my contractor, Dry Palms, is the reason for this beautiful house that I have. It is polished diorite with some spruce wood, red glass. It is beautiful, is it not? Hold on, I gotta go sleep. Gotta go sleep. Gotta go sleep. And then I'll give you a detour. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. We have slept and here and I'll give you the detour. So I made I made this guy. So first we're gonna go back a little bit. So I made him. So as you can see, I flattened out my lane completely. It is flat. I have I, this this is not gonna be the setup. I, oh jeez. I have a bunch of cows, a couple of chickens. The chickens are not for murder. They are just there. There's my little desk I made for this video. So we're gonna start over here. Run, 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 run. So I have feather falling, so it's okay that I jumped down here. I could have landed in the water, but that's okay. So I had to go through and light this entire area up. As you know, Darkness brings vile zombies, bombers, and everything else. So I created that amazing golem, and he helped me light this entire place up. Because he killed everything, and I did everything. So, as I was saying, the golem killed... Well, he didn't kill everything. I will say, I killed a few things, but he was a huge help. And then he wandered that way. So, I wondered if I could put a lead on him and drag him back. And it actually worked. So, I put him there. And Dry Palm, well, I put him there after. But Dry Palms helped me make a, actually helped me make a bridge. Let me go show you the bridge first. We also, we also went to the desert and I got some cactus. Because green dye is cool and cactus just looks awesome. So we made a bridge because, as I said, there's going to be a cathedral over there. Obviously, I'm nowhere near done with anything in this village. I don't even have villagers, but I don't have homes for them yet. But this is where the cathedral is going to be. The cathedral of Villa, where everyone comes to worship. Moi. Hey, the house looks really nice. I'm over here. So... We are going to now travel. 
travel, 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 all the way across, across, across. And voila. The outside of the house, it looks beautiful. And people say diarrhea, it looks like poop. So, here's the grand tour. I have my puppies. I do not have a name tag for him. But this one is Toby. I don't have a name tag for the golden either, but someday I will. He actually can, I'm pretty sure he can break the lead if he tries, but he hasn't. So, I have two jack-o'-lanterns lighting this up. I have my head. So, last night, we, I will show you in the future, uh, Jai Palms and I were testing out potions. And we came to my base because it's a flat base, and at night, mobs spawn like freaking crazy. So we were testing out some things, and I was fighting two Endermen. I was gonna die anyways. But, uh, he ended up killing me somehow. We're not sure how. I, I know he set me on fire after he missed a shot, and I don't know. So, there's my head. And we decided to bring some diary, polished diary. Shut up, Toby. And I said, fill this house. So we go inside. We go inside. I know, I know I need, uh, I need some bookcases, but I haven't gotten around to doing that. So this is my living room. This is the giant couch I have. The steps, crap table, furnace, thing has a lot of stuff. I haven't actually organized anything yet. This is a nice little table that Dry Palms made. He actually made like this entire house. And then here's the bedroom. And there it is. My prized possession. This is Brian's head. Now, in fairness... In fairness, he asked me to kill him because he wanted his own head. So then I asked to kill him so I could have his head. And he said yes. So I didn't murder him. He allowed me... To have his head. So it is now a bit sitting above my bed. So, as you can see, we have some vile creatures like Bubble Wolf Gaming, Brian Black Games, and the former Jackass Penguin, now Mega Jackass, because apparently he evolved. Which he has because he's become a bigger Jackass than normal. And we have some great people, like Sea of Thieves, aka Crafty, and Dry Pumps. There are two others that, one, we have I haven't made much contact with, which is Pizza Man, and then there's Hazer, who I see every so often, but I haven't really interacted with him to the point of coming up with an opinion of him. So, that is my base. Oh, I have some watermelons and some... Oops. I have some melons, pumpkins, all that good stuff. I have a water pit, a lava pit. So that is the first house. And this... This has been... Crime Watch. Bandix Craft Style. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. And don't run into the three Cretans that I've named today. They're vile humans. Wolves. And penguins. Goodbye.